Hi everyone and welcome to the D5 Render Tutorials. This series is divided into 8 videos in which I'll introduce you to how to use D5 Render. This video is an overview of D5 Render and the D5 Tutorial series. I'll briefly explain what's contained in the whole series and then what each lesson is about. First, let's take a quick overview of D5 Render. D5 Render is a real-time ray tracing renderer based on Microsoft DXR and NVIDIA RTX technologies. It combines the advantages of ray tracing and rasterization to speed up rendering as much as possible. D5 rolled out its own D5GI or Global Illumination System and outperforms many real-time renderers in terms of speed and quality. Aimed at assisting more designers with real-time interaction for near-offline renderings, D5 came into being when ray tracing technology was becoming the benchmark in the gaming and computer graphics industries. You can download the community version for free at d5render.com. This version gives you access to about 90% of its features, including image and video rendering, with no watermarks. You can also subscribe to D5 Pro to get thousands of high-quality models and many other advanced features. Starting in the second video, you'll learn the overall workflow of rendering a project in D5 Render, and how to create your own visualization workflow. By using a workflow you're already familiar with, your productivity will definitely be greatly improved. In this tutorial, I'll be using an interior design project as the demo scene. Lesson 2 demonstrates the step-by-step -step method of making the demo scene. I'll also include an introduction to the D5 Render user interface, its basic features, and tips on how to adjust natural lighting. Lesson 3 focuses on creating and adjusting artificial lighting in D5 Render. In Lesson 4, I'll demonstrate a new feature in version 2.2, which is Layer. This definitely helps you have a more organized scene and greatly improves productivity. In Lesson 5, I'll show you how to use PBR or physically-based rendering materials in D5 Render. Lesson 6 centers around creating your still image or animation output and adding post-production. Lesson 7 is mainly about the asset library, known as D5Works. In D5Works, you'll find thousands of assets, including models, materials, and particle systems that are ready to use. You will also see how you can customize your local asset library. To help you be more efficient when using assets, I'll also demonstrate how to scatter assets in your scene. That's it for the tutorial's overview. Go through the lessons and you'll find it quite easy to get started and become proficient with D5 Render. I hope this video helps, see you in the next one!